Hi guys, today I'm going to be putting my heat shield, replacing my OEM heat shield with this nice wings carbon fiber heat shield. I have one for the back and I also have one for the front. They give me these instructions, large washer on the inside, small washer on the outside, uh, M5 screw, and torque specifications. First thing I'm going to do is remove the old one. And I'm just simply using this torque wrench. This actually came uh, in the toolkit of the motorcycle. And I believe this is the one that's latched on the inside of the uh, seat pan. And this is a Torx T25, by the way. I'm curious to see the difference in weight. Oh, I got one more. Oh, okay. The weight difference is huge, you guys. All right, it's amazing. This weighs probably less than an empty ice cream cone. Now this one, the metal one, three, four, five ounces. It's significantly heavier. I'll just show you, I'm not gonna take this panel off, but right here and right here, two little slots that these go into. I think what they want me to do is I'm gonna be using this, receives the bolt, that holds this back one on. It came off of this one, so it would have been like this, okay? Bolt screws into there. So I'm just gonna remove that, place it. on oh, it's carbon fiber counterpart, right like that. So it tells me to do the small wash on the outside and the large washer. On the, on the inside. So I got my large wash on the inside, I got the small wash on the outside. I am going to, just so I don't have to hold it, I'm going to screw that one in first. And we're using a 930 seconds on this. Okay, so that's on, but it's loose. Now we're going to put the third one in. And that goes right out back here. Okay, so using that T25 Torx, that one's on. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up. And there it is, folks. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really nice. And there's the old one right there. Now we're going to put on the front section of the heat shield, which goes something like that. And what they do is they give you this clamp, which I already put in, and I'll, I'll tell you how I did that. And this bolt goes into that. What I had to do with that, they want you to put it inside these two little bars that are welded onto the muffler. And all I did was use these pliers and I just scrunched it a little bit so it would fit in between here. No more than I had to, just to get that to go in there and then that'll go tight against the muffler. I'm gonna try and set myself up so the bolt here is on the bottom outside and I have access to it. Just make it so it's accessible on the bottom. I got this on pretty well. I'm gonna leave it loose for now just so I can adjust it. But you can see, if you look down here, I have nice access to that. You can tell I got my bolt aligned perfectly so it's very easy to uh, to tighten when I need to. You really have to align your clamp uh, properly so it's not facing the other way. It just takes two seconds to figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and what I did was I made this, I, I preset this one on the front as you can see. I'll just show you like this. Once it's tight, the bolt will be on the outside. Very easy to tighten and loosen. I'm going to go ahead and just feed this around the pipe gently and I might as well just so I don't have to hold it I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one that's about where I want it to try to feed the two ends of the clamp together and tighten it 